Hey guys, uh, today I'm using Civil 3D 2012 and I just want to show you a couple of the new um, features, not necessarily specific to 2012, but newer features for editing corridors and, and, and working with um, uh, working with corridors in Civil 3D. So we've created a couple of intersections here and, and you can see in some of these that we have some issues. Um, in this case I've got a targeting issue here, I've, I've got the wrong assembly uh, loaded, it's going to the wrong side. So um, a quick way to be able to fix that now without having to go into the corridor properties dialog box and sift through the, the thousands of, of um, baselines and regions that we would likely have here is to just go in and, and use the contextual tab of the ribbon to, to make modifications. So in this case I know that I want to change the assembly um, for that specific region and I'm going to use the region properties command. And that's going to bring up um, you know, after I select the region that I want to modify, and you can see it kind of highlights that in blue, and I, I'm going to just select the region, and it brings up the region properties dialog box, and here I can go in and, and change the assembly. Um, in this case, we've got a daylight right assembly, and I want to change that to a daylight left assembly, and once I do so, you can see that the assembly switches and is now on the correct side. Um, in this case the daylight didn't update so the target is incorrect. So very quickly I can just come up and select edit targets again pick my region and then select my target. Once I do that the targeting should get fixed. Also I've got some issues here where um, in this region I'm targeting um, the wrong um, alignment and profile I'm targeting the center line when I need to be targeting the offset so I'm gonna uh, while still in the edit targets I'm gonna select my target here and change the transition alignment I'm gonna do this by just selecting the alignment from the drawing and adding it we've got the selection choice for multiple targets set to target to nearest offset so I don't necessarily have to go in and, and remove those other um, alignments I can just leave that alignment in there. I also want to do the same thing for the profile and I'm going to do that again by selecting the alignment from the drawing, picking the profile from the alignment that I selected and adding that. I click OK and OK in the target mapping dialog box and we should see uh, an update here to um, the target and it targets the correct uh, alignment now. A couple of other things that I wanted to show you um, just in um, you know when we when we go through and, and are able to create intersections like we've done here um, and there are a lot of intersections here um, in, in some cases we may need to connect these intersections up and there's a couple of ways now to be able to do that if I select one of the intersections what I'm gonna do here is just go in and copy a region so I'm gonna use the copy region command and I'm gonna select the outer region here to copy and if you look at the command line, you can see that I have an option to fill or I can select a baseline. If I type in F to fill, it automatically highlights or updates here where I want to fill. And you can see as I move my cursor around, I can change along that same baseline, I can change where I want to fill that in. In this case, this is where I want to fill, so I'm going to click. And Civil 3D will copy that baseline for me to that location and I, it, it's a continuing command so I'm back here um, and, and again I can pick the two points that I want to fill or I can type an F to fill it and when I do that I can pick the location that I want to fill and it will update. Now if I wanted to change baselines I do have an option here so I'm going to type in B for baseline and it's going to let me select a new baseline and when I do that it's going to allow me to select the baseline and then again, I can use the fill command and fill in the areas that I would like to to fill in and complete this. So again, that's that's really what I wanted to show you here today is just some of the the enhancements to Civil 3D in the realm of you know modifying or editing corridor targets, uh, properties, things like that, all without having to go into that corridor properties dialog box and that parameters tab that. Um, in most cases is very daunting. Thank you.